that, my brother? Let me ask you that. Huh? Africa? Okay. What part of Africa? Because Africa is a big uh, continent. Where at Africa? You got different places in Africa. Ethiopia is in Africa. Well, the, uh, Egypt is in Africa. So where at in Africa? Let's get it. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So listen, my brother David, the Bible is saying, if, since we broke God's laws, curses were going to come upon us. And he said, we were going into Egypt again. You know what the word Egypt mean, my brother? We're going to give it to you. We're going to give you the biblical uh, definition of what Egypt means. And as you see, my brother, what book do we keep going back to to prove everything we say, my brother? What book? What book we keep going back to? Huh? No, I'm talking about what, the whole entire book. What kind of the Bible, right? We keep going back to the Bible to prove everything we say. You can't do that with no other book. Why? Because this is the only true book. This Bible. This is the only book. You can't mate it with nothing else. Not the Quran. Not Rastafarian. Not no other religion. This is the true book. This gives you all the answers you need, my brother. That's why we out here to wake up our people. Read. The book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. Come on. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Out of the land of Egypt. Remember that word, my brother. Egypt, Egypt, Egypt. Come on. Out of the house of bondage. So God just called Egypt what, my brother? There it is. You see how easy that is, my brother David? So Egypt is synonymous for house of bondage. Or modern word, slavery. So let's get back to Exodus. Come on. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. Come on. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So what did Egypt mean again? Egypt, what did it mean again? Slavery. So he said he's going to bring us into bondage again. With ships. With what? With ships. With what? With ships. So it said with ships, my brother, with ships. How did the so-called black man, thank you, sir. How did the so-called black man, Hispanic man, well, black man really get over here to America? On what type of ships, though? Was it a, was it a Titanic? Huh? What, 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 kind, what kind of ship was it, my brother? What was it? A slave ships. Exactly. And we're reading that in the Bible, my brother. This is how it happened. Cargo slave ships. Look at this. Look at this. These things were meant for cargo. They weren't meant for people. Bring it up. Once moved below deck, enslaved people would find themselves stuffed into compartments with ceilings as low as four and a half feet, where they would spend most of their voyage. They were segregated by gender and age. Adult men were kept separately and shackled in pairs. Women usually left unchained in their designated compartment and children often free to move about the ship. And they still put us on there. Right. You had people, you had sisters giving birth on the slave ships in chains. Right. Blood spewing all over the next sister underneath her. The baby dying right there. People uh, uh, having feces on each other, peeing on each other, right. doing all these things on a slave ship right. that this white man put us on. A cargo slave ship. Yeah. It wasn't meant for people. But they, made, they put us on these things, brother. And we're reading this out of the Bible, my brother David. Oh, please, thank you, sir. Read it again. Come on. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Bring us into slavery again on what means of transportation? With ships. With cargo slave ships. Come on. So that's how we got here to America. That's how you got over there to uh, uh, Jamaica. You know? That's how the so-called Haitians got over there in Haiti. All these things happen because of us breaking God's laws. The so-called uh, Hispanics, that's how a lot of them got over there in Spain, thinking they're Spaniards, but they're not. They're true, they're the Israelites according to the Bible. Read that. By the way we're of, I speak unto thee. So the same way he, he's reading this Bible, that's the same way it happened. And we seeing it, we got history on it. We know it happened, read. Thou shalt see it no more again. We will not see our homeland again, and we haven't. What is our homeland, my brother? Let me ask you that. Huh? Africa? Okay. What part of Africa? Africa is a big uh, continent. Where at in Africa? You got different places in Africa. Ethiopia is in Africa. Well, the, well uh, Egypt is in Africa. So where at in Africa? Let's get it for my brother. We're going we gonna to show you where your true homeland. 
All praise to you ain't say Jamaica, so all praise for that. Is your true homeland? It's not that. It's in Africa, but we're at in Africa, my brother. Read that for my brother. The book of Galatians chapter 4 and verse 26. Come on. But Jerusalem. But what? But Jerusalem. But Jerusalem, black man, Hispanic man, is what? Which is above is Which is free. above all nations, which is above all countries, is what? Is free. Uh-huh. Which is the mother. Which is the what? Which is the mother. Which is the motherland of us all. Of us all. That's where we come from, my brother. Right. So your true motherland is Jerusalem, my brother. Like you said, in Jerusalem, is Israel, Jerusalem is in Africa, my brother. Now they made that Suez Canal to make it, to cut it off. But before that, all that thing was connected. You can walk back and forth, my brother, to understand that. So the homeland is what, David? Jerusalem. So you pay attention, my brother David. All praises. Let's get read it again for my brother. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Come on. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So he brought us into captivity again. Because we read in the Bible, we never physically went back into Egypt uh, as a nation into slavery. That never happened. So the slavery he's talking about is here. Read. With ships. Cargo slave ships. There were no sanitary facilities of any kind. Enslaved people were forced to relieve themselves where they sat, creating hellish conditions when combined with the heat and lack of ventilation below deck. Disease was rampant. Dysentery, malaria, yellow fever, smallpox, measles, and influenza ravaged the enslaved and crew members alike. By the way we're up, I speak unto thee, uh -huh. thou shalt see it no more again. So we did not see our motherland again, and our motherland is what? Jerusalem, Jerusalem, y'all come on. And there, yeah, it's there. So when we get to these different plant, uh, lands, when we get to Haiti off of those cargo slave ships, when we get to Jamaica off of those cargo slave ships, when we get here in America into Philadelphia on those cargo slave ships, what's gonna happen? Ye shall be sold. Ye shall be sold, come on. Unto your enemies. Unto your enemies, my brother. On top of being forcibly taken and stolen from their homeland, should a family find itself on the other side of the Middle Passage, it would be separated. Parents, children, their siblings, husbands and wives would all be sold to different vendors. On a journey that had only broken minds, bodies and spirits, the enslaved would face the further indignity of being sold at auction. Who were we sold unto? What nation? Huh? Who? The white man, correct. The white man, the Arabian man. However, the death toll among slaves imported by the Islamic countries, many of these slaves being forced to walk across the vast burning sands of the Sahara, was twice as high. Thousands of human skeletons were strewn along one Saharan slave route alone, mostly the skeletons of young women and girls. The Chinese man, but most definitely here in America, in uh, Jamaica, and in Haiti, the white man. Before 1600, a few hundred thousand African men had been forcibly transported to the Americas, but it was in the 17th century that demand for labor really grew. European plantation owners wanted labor to farm the sugarcane fields in the Caribbean and North America. The slave trade had devastating impacts on millions of people. So the Bible just called the white man our what? Read it from the top. Read, no, read that part from the brother, David. And there, and so there we shall be sold unto who? Unto your enemies. Unto your enemies. So what is God calling the so-called white man? <laughs> Our enemies, correct. So how easy that is, my brother David. You can read. All you gotta do is read and understand. It's that simple. You humble yourself down, you get the word, the scriptures come out, it's easy to be understood. This is how we got over here. That's how you got over there to Jamaica. That's how we got over here to America. That's how they got over there to Haiti. Understand that. Come on. For bond men, for slave men, and bond women, and bond women, and no man shall buy you, and no man shall redeem us. That's what it's talking about. So my brother, why did these curses happen to us? Let me see if you're thinking, see if you can remember. Why, remember, God said that we are gods. He's gonna put us above everybody if we do what he tells us to do. And he said, if you don't do it, What's gonna to happen to us? Curses. So how do these curses come upon us? Why? I just gave you the answer, really. But how, how did these curses come upon us? Why? Get 15 for my brother, one more time. Just listen to this, my brother. Verse 15. Come on. But it shall come to pass. Come on. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So we don't listen to God. We don't listen to him. But what are we listening to, uh, David? Read. 
to observe, to do all his commandments, to do all his commandments, and his statutes, and his statutes, which I command thee this day. Uh huh. So we don't listen. Then what? That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So my brother David, why did all these curses come upon us? We didn't listen to the commandments. So we want to come out of these conditions. What do you think we got to do? What you think, David? Get Acts 3. What you think? We went, all these curses happened to us because you said what? We did not what? We didn't listen to his commandments, right? So if we want to get out of this condition and we want to get back on high, what do you think we got to do? We got to start following. It's that simple. Get, my, get Acts 3. Just listen to this then, David. Read that. The book of Acts chapter 3, verse 19. Listen up, David. Repent ye therefore. What it say? Repent ye therefore. It says repent ye therefore, meaning keep God's commandments. Yes. We must keep God's laws. Come on. And be converted. And be converted. What converts us? How are we converted? Are we converted in whatever we want to be converted in? No. We must follow God's laws, statutes, and commandments. Read that. Come on, read that. The book of Psalms, chapter 19, verse 7. So we're showing the so-called black man, Hispanic man, you need to repent. You need to come back to God's laws, statutes, and commandments. Right. Women, stop wearing pants. Men, stop shaving off your beard. Stop eating pork. Stop defiling the Sabbath day. You must repent and be converted. Read. The law of the Lord is perfect. The law. God's laws is perfect. Thou shalt not kill. Perfect. That's right. Thou shalt honor thy father and thy mother. Perfect. Read. Converting the soul. And if you do these things, it will convert your soul. Read. And the testimony of the Lord is sure. This testimony is sure. Whatever this Bible says, it's going to come to pass. If you follow his laws, you're going to get the kingdom. If you don't, you are going to die. Men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models.